Hawaii County is looking to increase trash disposal fees. The Hawaii County Council Finance Committee advanced Bill 82 during a December 4th meeting in Hilo. The measure would increase the fee from the current $85 per ton to $101 per ton. One commercial trash hauler spoke in opposition to the bill. Good morning, Chair David. Good morning. Members of the Finance Committee. I'm Stephen Arouge, owner and operator of D&D Rubber Service. We're a small rubbish hauling company. <clears throat> I strongly oppose Bill 82, which amends Chapter 20, and the reasons are, back when the tipping fee was created, former Mayor Yamashiro, in written communication to the county council at the time, stated that the tipping fee was needed to help alleviate the burden of the solid waste division on the general fund. Currently, the tipping fees amount to slightly over $9 million per year um, for 17, which is more than half of the budget of the division. It seems to me that we, the commercial haulers, are no longer helping to alleviate the burden. We are carrying half of the burden. I don't believe that we should carry a burden that is not ours to carry. I also don't see any justification for the increase in tipping fees. The Hilo landfill will be closing in about a year and a half. Wasn't it said that hauling the trash to corner landfill is cheaper than burying it in Hilo? Also, on page two, section 20-47, where the addition states past due, don't the creditors of our bills give us at least 30 days um, past due notice before interest is charged? Could we please have at least 30 days? Page two, small parenthesis F. This entire section should not be eliminated because by the eliminating this section, the division of solid waste would not be accountable for their actions in the management of the division. But in turn, it seems to be giving the division some kind of autonomy. Instead of deleting this section, could a period be added after the last word, basis, and only January 1st, 2007 be deleted? This would keep the division checked and balanced. I also asked this committee to find a place within F to state that the division shall give adequate notice to all commercial haulers of any changes to operations or possible fee changes that affect the commercial haulers. The reason for this is because things such as this bill and previous bills to raise fees are done without us finding about it until the last minute. You have 30 seconds to summarize, thank you. I believe that there should be a level of courtesy and respect for those that are carrying half of the burden of the division. Thank you very much. Mahalo for your testimony. Madam Chair. Thank you. Yes, um, Ms. Poindexter. Can, uh, do we have his written testimony? And if not, um, if he does have a copy, could could, he? could you provide that to the clerk and we can make copies of that? I have it handwritten. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh, okay. um, I can okay. provide the handwritten if yeah. you folks yeah. want it. If you could great. provide That'll it to great. the clerk, I'd like to get a copy also. Okay. Then he'll have. I, mean, I don't know who else. Thank you. Thank you. Then we all can have a copy of your written testimony on the on the statement that you just made. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, um, I need to go back to work now. Okay. You folks have uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Same to you. Aloha. Environmental Management Department officials made a presentation to the council before the vote. I would um, ask first that Director Kacharski come up and explain the original bill first <laughs> and then so we can kind of meld the the proposed amendment um, if that's okay. Uh, Bill Kucharski, director of uh, DEM. Uh, the original uh, bill 82 that was submitted was for an increase in tip fees from the existing $85 to $101 a ton uh, there being um, initial review with the fact that this tip fee was uh, last changed in 2007, a 2% a year increase from 2007 to 2018 would get us a to like $217 and some cents uh, per ton. 
by uh, 2018. Uh, initially, uh, uh, when we had our preliminary budget numbers in, we felt that this increase from $85 to $101 would bring in sufficient fees to allow us to make necessary improvements to our service, to up to uh, fix our transfer stations, to uh, take care of other issues, and I'll be going over some more detail in, the, in my presentation. Uh, but uh, once we looked at the numbers and we finalized the numbers, we found that we had an additional uh, charge facing us from moving to Pu'uanahulu uh, when we closed Hilo. And that additional $2 million had not been taken into account in our, my initial bill. And taking a look at that, uh, we felt that it would be uh, appropriate for us to go back to essentially our original, my original number that I deferred back thinking that was too much. We didn't need that much money and I didn't want to take more than we needed. Unfortunately, what I needed was more than I thought. And so uh, I came in and put this amendment in for $108 a ton increasing that every year by two dollars a ton and we wind up by 2022 being i believe it's two dollars a ton more than it would have been with the original 101. this will just uh, uh advancing the fees will give us the opportunity to uh, take care of op operational costs associated with moving to Pu'uanahulu, and i will be getting in more detail on that in the presentation but that is the basis the first thing I wanted to go through was the, the basis. Uh, we have a status, we're required to put in a status quo budget every year. And uh, we went through this and have um, uh, taken a look. We have a requirement in Pu'uanahulu that we do not have in the Hilo landfill. That is, we have a tip fee that we pay our contractor on West Side. And when we took that tip fee into account, uh, the additional material that we're bringing over from Hilo amounts to an additional fee of about $2 million a year. And uh, the original uh, request would have brought in like $1.8 million, and that would have given us pretty much a static if, if we had that. Um, we're going to be able to uh, continue all of our services and uh, be able to make the improvements that we think are uh, necessary to provide service to the to the county. Uh, if you take a look at our status quo budget from uh, that we had in the, the numbers from 2000 and uh, 16, 17, the actual numbers we collected. Uh, a little more than uh, nine nine million dollars uh, in tip fees that went into the landfills. Uh, I should say that number is actually higher, but we have what's called a residential credit, and we'll be going to that to the small uh, the small carriers that uh, people that bring uh, solid waste to the landfills. We give them a credit if they're doing households. Um, our operational costs, our straight operation costs are about $11 million, recycling seven. Expenses like equipment and other things are $4 million, and we pay um, waste management in Pu'anahulu about $6.7 million a year. So we draw from the general fund about over $20 million a year uh, for expenditures that are about $29 million. Uh, in some of the testimony, we had some uh, uh, references to the budget. Uh, the budget from the tip fees is not paid for half. It pays for about a third, uh, uh, which, is, uh, up, which is still, I think, very, very low if you take a look at most jurisdictions. Um, there was also a comment that uh, we were uh, going over to Pu'uanahulu because it was cheaper than disposing in Hilo. That's not absolutely correct. What it, what it is, it's, it's cheaper than building a new landfill on the east side. And so there was never an intent to reduce or do something that was cheaper than what we have in, uh, in Hilo. Um, 
as we go through this, uh, once again, as I said, there's the CPI adjustments in our tip fees in, in West Hawaii and uh, the additional tonnage, which would be about 12,000 tons, which would be for, I think it's um, seven months of, of thing, assuming that the landfill in Hilo would close in December or November next year, we would start taking material over. That gives us our $2 million a year. Plus, we get annual CPI adjustments uh, from them as well. Uh, just an indication, before we had the, uh, the increase, in order to meet our standalone budget, if we did not do not change our hazardous or disposal fees for, uh, for the solid waste division, the programs that we would have to remove are, are pretty onerous. Um, I have gave a, a list there. It is essentially our entire recycle program. And that is not something that we want to do or wanted to do. And so uh, the increase is absolutely uh, critical for us to maintain our operations. So as I said, the last uh, fee that we had increase was 2007, and that pushed it. It went. Uh, I think it was $45, and in five years it was up to $85 a ton, and that stopped in 2007. And in the last years when we were going on our, in our standalone budgets, uh, that did not take into account that we had CPI adjustments for our disposal costs on the west side. It didn't take into account that we had increased in salary costs, and so we essentially took cuts in our budget every year when we were in, in a standalone situation. Um, uh, in here, you get an indication. We had the $9.2 million that we collected from tip fees. Uh, that was actually uh, a net number. The gross number uh, was about $800,000 higher, but we give residential credit to the small haulers that collect uh, municipal solid waste, and uh, we give them a rebate based on the number of households that they service. It's not for the big commercial, but for the small residential, we, we do that. I should point out if uh, the $108 does come back, I'll show this in another slide, but uh, that residential uh, credit uh, will increase to about a million dollars. And so when you take a look at what the county does and what the county budget covers for the citizens of, of, of this county, uh, Hawaii County is probably one of the most generous and uh, take care uh, government uh, around. Uh, we have about 82,000 tons of uh, municipal solid waste that comes from our transfer stations. 100% of that is paid for by the county. And if you took our disposal fee, that's about seven to eight million dollars in, in fees that we do not collect. And uh, that's the decision of the county and I'm absolutely fine with that. Just pointing this out, not to complain, but just to point out that again, about 42% of everything we dispose of is 100% covered by the county. And not only is the tipping fee, but the collection, the transport, all of those things are covered by our operational budget. And so we come to what's requested. And the increase is to go from $85 to $108 a ton, commencing in July of this year, of, of 2018. Um, uh, there was request for notice if the uh, fee is going to be increased, and we are giving uh, six, six to seven months if this passes. Uh, and I don't make any, any assumptions on that. Uh, there was also a question in the testimony about uh, changing the when uh, fees were overdue and late. And there is a 30-day window to pay. It's right, currently it's a 90-day window. And so guess what? Everybody pays in 89 days. That's going to pay. And if it's 30, everybody will pay in 30 days, I believe. 
we, but we have also decreased the interest rate from an 18 percent uh, down to a 12 percent. So there's, there's give and take on those that are running into some, some difficulty. Um, also, when you take a look at the residential fees that uh, credits that are, that are given, that means that the, the increases that we have in the tipping fees for the small people that are going to small collectors, their, those services will have about a 27 percent increase in the residential credit, which is, matches what the, the increase in the tip fees are. So. Uh, unfortunately, for the commercial side, they will be bearing uh, the majority of this of of this proposed increase if if it goes to if it goes to pass. Um, where the funds will go to, uh, we're looking at uh, the majority of these funds. More than half are going to be going uh, to pay our contract for Pu'anahulu. Uh, we have increased tonnage that's going there, and we get a CPI adjustment every year on that tonnage. We'll have increased cost uh, hauling from east to west Hawaii, uh, and uh, we're, we're going to be able to make some site uh, improvements. Uh, we're going to be able to make some program improvements. For example, we have a requirement to deal with polystyrene foam. We're, we need uh, someone to deal with that. We have to provide uh, to the council by January of, uh, of next, not next year, the, the year after, and in uh, January 2019, um, a plan for how an education plan, that's going to take a person. I also intend, if this goes through, to bring a, an enhanced litter program uh, before the council. And that is going to take a person, and an uh, additional person would be used to handle both the litter and uh, the polystyrene. This also allows us to maintain our operations and not essentially lose our recycle uh, program. 